Good morning. Today's Monday, November 7th, 2016. And in the words of Kim.com, game over. See, things happen for a reason. And in this particular case, we have the very, very, very strange news of Janet Reno, the first woman to serve as U.S. Attorney General, dies at age 78 today. 24 hours before election day. Now, this is where sometimes I get those feelings and I got one when I did the video on Vince Foster speaks from the vault. Just take a quick listen because this was done November 2nd, five days ago. Seems to be able to control what happens in situations repeatedly by the manipulation of attorney generals who oversee the FBI. This is a pattern now. She did it with Janet Reno, making sure that FBI Director William Sessions... So I won't go into the whole thing, but are you seeing the big picture? Dead men tell no lies. And in this case, it's a woman. FBI Director James Comey found 650,000 emails not enough to change his opinion from July 5th, 2016. Why would that be? Well, could be because he's lacking a key witness. You know, the emails, they aren't just dealing with issues from today. They're likely dealing with issues that go all the way back to President William Jefferson Clinton. And knowing that there's a lot of issues going backwards <laughs> to the point where she was involved with Vince Foster and everything that was going on with Whitewater, everything that was going on with the Rose Law Firm, everything that was going on illegally in the Clinton White House, is it any stretch of the imagination that Janet Reno would now be deceased so that Hillary Clinton can have a clear path to the White House. This is my opinion. I'm not going to change it. And give me your comments below because I got to tell you, on the scale of strange to bizarre, this one is off the charts. Give me your comments below.